Wow. Mm. That was a performance yeah. last night. What do you think, Zach, of the way? Do you think that they have figured something out in this series against the Rockets? I think they figured a couple things out. Number one, when we have a chance to run, even if it's against our nature, we're the slow jazz. We like to pass it 14 times right. before we shoot. We got to run. When James Harden misses at the rim, that means there's four Houston guys underneath the foul line. We got to run. Mm -hmm. And they started to really uh, attack Houston switching really smartly. Mm -hmm. They had their guys slip screens instead mm -hmm. of sticking around to set them. And so they got in motion before Houston could even switch. I think the Rockets were kind of surprised by that. Well, I, I tell you what, the coaching that I've seen, you know, from Brad Stevens and uh, Quinn, Quinn uh, it's just been unbelievable. These guys are doing a great job from game to game uh, with their game plan and making adjustments. And I saw the adjustments, especially in the first half. I don't think Utah could have played a, a better first half than they played. Uh, that's what really got those guys going, getting open shots. I think, um, you know, Donovan did a, a better job of attacking and kicking out to his shooters. He wasn't scoring the ball, but he was making the right plays and, and Ingles was making shots. Um, the young guys coming off the bench, you know, was Exum and uh, what's the other guy? Burks. From Burks. I mean, those guys gave him quality minutes, and that's what they're going to have to do. Uh, the way they was defending James in the first half was phenomenal as well. They wasn't allow him to come off of that pick and roll. He's always had a body on him and, and made him see uh, bodies. Ex Exum was great on Yes. Hard. I was just so impressed that when Houston sort of came back into it and gave them that big wave, that the Jazz didn't freak out or no. give up on the road, that they had the mentality to withstand it. And again, led by a rookie, you know. I, <laughs> no one passes that, to that, himself off the rim. The maturity of this incredible. kid is off the charts. It is so impressive. All right, so what do you see going forward here? Well, I mean, they're comfortable at home. You know, those guys, the, the crowd, the energy that they get from their crowd and uh, the execution that these guys have, they're going to play faster. I'm sure they figured that out, that they have to play faster. Um, and I just defensively just stay solid. James is the, the motor for this team. If you keep James off the free throw line and, and don't allow him to get going behind, beyond the arc, they're going to get themselves a great chance to win. Houston's better. Houston should win the series. I think Houston will win the series. If they lose game three and they're down 2-1 after 65 wins and Chris and James worked really well together all season, they're down 2-1 facing a 3-1 deficit. The noise is going to be really, really loud. Houston so game, is game better, three is big. But, I mean, Utah is getting better. Utah's good. Utah, I mean, they They're lost really like five good. games after the All-Star break. They're yeah. good. Yeah, and look, Donovan said he watched Kobe Bryant's detail show on him twice. twice. Got all the tips. So, apparently, look, he's set for the rest of the series.